peace. And um, and I was trying to figure out why, for example, here in America, why immigrants, in a sense, saw America as the, the land of milk and honey, the land of opportunity. Um, all types of immigrants, but specifically even African immigrants, for the most part, that's how they see it, um, coming to America. And I wrote this piece, and I wrote, and I, in the piece I said, but somehow we're blocked from that view. And I'm like, okay, there's a disconnect. There's a, a clearly a disconnect, and the disconnect clearly comes from our history and how we're taught our history. And so, due to those teachings, um, I, the piece I'm just trying to, I'm not, I'm, I'm not like poets, I can't remember my pieces. But, um, <laughs> but some, I think the end of the piece just said something to the effect that we have to change our psyche in order to remember the giants we once were and the giants we still are today. And so that concept birthed, at the time I didn't have a name for mental dialogue, but anyway, I finished the piece, I was at a barber shop, and instead of getting my hair cut, I'm on the phone for like two hours with my best friend, um, he was out in LA, so I just called him and talked to him about this piece. And so I'm, I'm sharing a piece and he's just blown away, so we're just going back and forth about everything that's in the piece. And I'm just like, man, somehow we gotta change how we see this. We gotta change how we see this. I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do.